This could be a really good place to come back and dig out. <gasps> Looky there. So we're going to have a little metal detecting adventure today. I am in Sharpsburg, Maryland. Uh, this is an old house here and uh, it was pre-Civil War era. They were fighting all through this town. I guarantee you right where I'm standing there were both Confederate and Yankee soldiers. This town was absolutely loaded with them. The homeowner is going to join us in a few minutes. He's, uh, he's got a metal detector too. He's found some things out here. A few eagle buttons, some other things. Uh, he's fairly new at the hobby. I'm here today with my friend Gene. And Gene is already getting started. Find anything yet? Not yet. Okay, we've been here for like 30 seconds. Yes. So, um, <laughs> but yeah. At least 45 seconds. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but Brian, the homeowner, is uh, like I said, he just started metal detecting. And he said he found some, he showed them to me, he found a couple of eagle buttons right around this area where we're, where we're going to get started. For an eagle eye, which is an infantry officer's button, and a uh, plain eagle button. So, what do you say? We go ahead and get to digging. This is uh, some stuff we dug, I guess, at some other time. And some mason jar lid, these some round nails, pieces of bone, that's a hinge. This is an old brick. That looks like a pretty old brick. Uh, so, yeah, let's get, go ahead and, and uh, see what we can find. It looks like old hog been rooting around in here. It's an oyster shell. So when I see these, I'm thinking Civil War era or B4. So I'm really excited about finding a few belt buckles and maybe a couple cannonballs. Let's get started. We are uh, detecting with the Garrett AT Max today. Now I'm going to leave it on zero, the zero program, zero discrimination, just so you can hear the amount of nails and stuff that are in here. And then we're going to go ahead and, and probably put over discriminate a little bit. I'm going to put my headphones on. These are all, all grunts or nails. That's something right there, probably. Could be a piece of tin or a piece of that uh, uh, mason jar lid. Yeah, so there's definitely something in that hole. A little something there. Right, let's go ahead and dig this together since I got you. Might be in that loose dirt even. I did this with one hand, holding the camera with the other for now. Let's see what we got. Iron there. All right, definitely something there. I'm gonna go ahead and set you up. Should be like up in here, I think. Uh, detector back. Plug in my headphones. You don't have to listen to all that gap. Oh, it might be a big piece of iron. Yeah, that was a big piece of iron over here. Probably. That's a big solid piece of like cast iron. Uh, nice and heavy. That could be Civil War era, but there's really no way to say. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it over there with his other pile of stuff. I'll check the hole, but we're gonna keep all moving. A really good squeak here. That could be like a little coin, maybe. I hope. Could be like a little penny, wheat penny, or something. <gasps> there it is. It's a penny. Not a wheat penny, but it's uh, definitely a little squeaky coin. Memorial scent. Not a, uh, not a zinc one. Alright, that's our first coin of the day. I guess we can say we didn't get skunked. Well, I guess uh, this is still being skunked, sorry. It was kind of going up along the sidewalk and I got a good signal. I think it was this, which is some big ball of foil, but I want to show you all the other stuff we're digging in here. Came out of this hole right here. A bunch of oyster shells. And uh, some nice redware there, some square nails. So still working my way up along the sidewalk, and I just dug this. I think this might actually be what they call a pan, or part of a Civil War epaulet, shoulder epaulet. That's the right shape. It's only like half half of, of the piece. There'd be another piece that went over, uh, but it's the right shape, and it comes down like this, and basically. This would have been part of a uniform and this would have gone like just like this across the top of the shoulder and there would have been more to it naturally and maybe more to it in the hole but i'm like 90 percent sure that's a uh that's a civil war artifact pretty awesome huh i kind of worked my way over closer to the house here even though there's a stone wall which tells me that everything on this side of the wall has been filled in you can see it's actually uh probably at least four feet right there the stuff that I'm seeing over here is pretty old. I'm seeing some oyster shell. It's 
So we know that there's some older artifacts near the surface, and I saw some glass over here. It looked like a uh, it was an old bottle, piece of bottle glass. I don't see right now. There it is. So and you see, that's a nice old piece of bottle right there. Might not be quite as old as I thought it was, but. Uh, anyway, I got a signal here. This is our first squeaker on this side of the yard. I thought we'd go ahead and look at it together. It's pretty small, whatever it is. Um, but it's something right in here. <gasps> it is a pull tab. Woohoo! I just dug an old toothpaste tube. That could be as old as me, I suppose. Not a great find, though. The area I was just searching, and I uh, came over here because I was following the like some, some oyster shells and stuff. I noticed that Brian's been digging over here in an area. This is actually an old log cabin. If you go on the inside, it's, it's logs. So that's probably pre-Civil War. Uh, but you notice here all this white stuff? That's lime. I think this is probably an outhouse. And that's one of the beams that went across down there would have had the structure on top of here with the toilets. And that's lime that they put on top of it uh, to keep the smell down. So I think if we dug that straight down here, uh, we'll probably have a pit that was could be three feet, could be six feet deep. We may have some great bottles and stuff in it. So when Brian comes out, uh, we'll come over here and uh, maybe we'll dig this out today. Or if not today, maybe another day. See the walkway went right to here and stopped. So that's one of the outhouses for sure. That's pretty cool right there. Could be full of nice bottles. Who knows? So I jumped down on the low side of this wall. And you can see we're almost at street level here. So I'm hoping that maybe it's not quite so much fill. We've got a nice squeaker in here. I'm hoping it's going to be a coin. See here. You see it? I've just been digging. Ah, yeah, there's a coin right there. It looks like a, a cent or a penny. I don't know if it's going to be a wheat penny or just a normal a Lincoln. You see a Lincoln there. Flip it over. Ah, yeah, just a normal. Uh, no, when I say normal, I just mean a, uh, a, just a uh, Lincoln Memorial cent. So, yeah, it could be. Well, actually, that can't be as old as me, so... <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Gotta break that age barrier. Just like this big piece of iron. This is actually part of a uh, part of a single tree, uh, which is, uh, you know, hardware for, uh, like, for wagons and stuff. I guess a chain or something would go through here, and this would have been a wooden beam going across, and you could pull wagons and things like that. Not exactly 100% how it's used, but it's definitely part of a single tree. The old cow bone. I kind of wonder why there'd be giant cow bones in the yard like this in town. Um, there's more around the other side. Anyway, I was digging back in here, and um, you can see Brian's been digging a little bit. A lot of signals. I should dig up that piece of single tree to the giant piece of iron that we're going to dig up in a minute. But I'm looking at this area, and I'm seeing lots of nails and stuff in here. A little bit of ceramics, but it's kind of a flat area. So I'm thinking there might have been a shed here at one time, or a building, or a house, or, or something. And there's some, there's some cold, so this might be a good area for us to dig out a little bit later. The bottle cap there. Uh, but let's go ahead, we'll dig up this big piece of iron right here, see what it is, and then we'll just take our time going through here. So I guess that's an old piece of brick, so this might have been, this might have been like a, uh, a structure here that was here before the Civil War. It was very possible. Right, right in this area here. So this whole area back here might be worth looking in. Unfortunately, there's a lot of mo more modern trash been piled on top. So that's a nice little mound right there too. Like, that's interesting. We might dig into that too. This is the big piece of iron right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set you up and we'll just dig it together. Look how dark and oil is. Oh, it's soft too. That's a good sign. Looks like a bar, another. Well, I thought it was a bottle cap, but it's actually a heavy duty iron. It's like a head off of a spike, or yeah, probably head off a railroad spike. By the looks of it, you can see right here, rectangular area. So that's probably no railroad spike. It's not what we were hearing though. Oh, look how dark it is. That's nice. Iron coming up there. Okay, this is this is a probably a barrel band. Yeah, that's what it is. Let's 
this would have been a big band and if you look right here it's joined together with rivets a little bit of a bevel on it so this would have been like a wooden barrel uh, in here and this would have been what held the slats together that's probably what we were hearing move it around let's go ahead and dig this out and uh see what's if there's any goodies in here it's another probably more of that band and see how deep this dark soil goes down if uh silver war bullets start popping out of here All right, so you can see I'm still digging a bunch of stuff out of here. It's getting a little bit lighter, but there's still iron. And if you look way down in the bottom, there's still uh, pieces of brick and stuff in here. So we're not even down to the natural layer yet. So this could be a really good place to come back and dig out. <gasps> Looky there, that is, that's part of a uh, horse bit, like a watering bit. That's half of it. Sna I think they might call them snaffle bits. Um, kind of a lightweight one, so that's civilian. But it's definitely what that is, 100%. That could be Civil War era easily. So let's see about this, huh? Uh, let me dig a little bit more of this out of here. And we'll check this with the metal detector. Let's take a look at what we have. Uh, you can see the soil is getting light. That's actually little pieces of mortar, like uh, out of walls. And there's more of it down in here. So I'm thinking this is uh, this was an old house right here, probably. That's mortar. It's still dark going down in there, so we haven't even got down to the bottom yet. You see pieces of iron in the sides. I'll have to dig out with a shovel. Found this oyster shell. This was all the way down in the bottom, so that tells us that's a nice old layer. And looks like it might be some charcoal. You see the charcoal or coal. I'm not sure which. So this is definitely going to be an old foundation to a house right in here. Um, especially with you know, the scene that's brick and stuff that's telling me those oyster shows that there's going to be some artifacts in here. Uh, let's run the machine over it. See what we can hear. Probably going to be a lot of that tin, but they might we might be able to sneak out a nice little button or something. Get rid of that. All right, just give me a minute. All right, I'm not hearing any good squeakers, but there's tons of iron. There's a little bone. Look at that. It's probably a chicken bone or something right there. Lots of nails in there. That's a layer we want to get down to right there. And iron. All right, we'll dig just a little bit more on that, and then um, maybe we'll come back another day. Brian invites us back, and we'll dig on it some more. I, I sure would like to. Maybe bring a sifter. I'm getting down about as far as I can dig with this little shovel, and it's getting really interesting. It's getting to be a good artifact layer down there. You can see there's some nails. Some nice square nails are starting to pull up out of there. And I just dug this thing. Oh, that's a sleigh bell. That is a uh, like a curdle bell or a sleigh bell. That's where it would uh, be on the leather. Ding, 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 like that. So that just came out of the very bottom of the hole. Yep, that's what that is. Pretty cool. I can feel a little dinger is still in there. Hit it like that, get the, uh, get the dirt out of it. See? Why? Oh, Melodious. Here? <laughs> All right, I'm going to dig just a little bit more, clean it up. We'll see what we have and uh, see if we can come back another day. All right, so I have a little more dug out. And it's about as deep as I'm going to go, but I'm still in the layer, but, uh, you know, artifact layer. I'm down to, looks like I'm getting to some clay, so it might be the bottom, but a lot of burned stuff. So whatever this was, whether it was a building or a house, it was burned in the end. It could have been burned during the war. Back, you know, it's actually kind of likely because a lot of the town was burned 
but that's the that's that good old air right down in there from about here down that's really what we want to be digging i mean it could be stuff up here too but that's whatever whatever's down there was put there when this place burned all right i'm going to run the metal detector over here if i find something good i'll show it to you yeah so look we're getting into some ceramics now very awesome a lot of charcoal in here too look at that okay i think what i'll do is i'll go ahead and i'm going to get brian bring him over here and show him what we have and see if he wants to dig on it some more today or maybe tomorrow you know some other day but i sure would like to get back in here again down to that level that's i think that's going to be the bottom right there but look at that's good at least three feet of artifact layer right there all right i'll go get him show him what we got oh that's kind of nice let's see yeah, no idea yeah, I'm not sure. This all looks like probably turn of the century. I don't know about that though. That looks like this uh, is hand forged. This is all. This is uh, turn that's, the century that's stuff. later. Yeah, when I say turn yeah. of the century, I mean 1880, yeah. 1930s. Yeah, and this one. That's what I'm saying. This one I'm looks. Sure. That looks like it could be older. Um, looks almost like a drum, but I don't think. Yeah, it's that's what I say. It's like, yeah. but the way it's set up, like there's no way to move it. No. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, let me show you something over here if you got a minute. Yeah. This area right here, this is a foundation to a house or a cabin or something. Okay. Yeah, if you look down in there, you can see there's an artifact layer that goes all the way down to the bottom. And when we get right where I'm digging on the bottom, there's um, charcoal and stuff. Okay. So in uh, mortar and stuff from the inside of the house, from where they whitewash the inside. Right. The mortar. Uh, so this was a cabin or something that's probably burned down. Could have been done during the war. Oh, tons of iron in here. This is some of the stuff I've been getting out. I did get a little sleigh bell. Oh, that interesting. Kind of neat. And that was pretty much on the bottom. And uh, but you know, getting oyster shells and stuff too. So out of any place I've seen to dig over here, this is probably on your property. This would this will be the one I would dig out for sure. Right. Um, and maybe even sift it because it's just loaded with little nails. Okay. A um, little bit of glass. Mm. That could be some more air. But yeah, there's probably some good stuff in there, but you know, I can't dig it today. I'm too tired, but all right, all right. Uh, it's definitely worth digging later. And okay. if, you know, if you need help with it, let me know. I'll come back yeah. and dig, dig on it with you. Yeah, no issue uh, on there. Most I, awesome. I, I enjoy doing that type of stuff. Uh, the, what the heck is little it? Little button thing Whoa. or attachment thing. Yeah. Hard to say. I'm not sure what that thing is. Man, uh, that's some hip bone. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is good? Keep stuff from bouncing yeah, around. Yeah, kind of wild looking. Yeah. Is this a bone or a... Bone. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty good. Came out of the hole, you know, this hole. Uh -huh. Cool. Snaffle bit or mm -hmm. horse bit. Went ahead and dug on it just a little bit more. Just since uh, it's pretty exciting to me, but a lot more oyster shells. You see there's lots of nails in here. I have not walked through here yet. Um, but looking down in the hole, look right here, that's really hard packed clay. So that's the very bottom. That was probably the bottom of the uh, the house or uh, cellar or whatever this might have been. You see some uh, iron bands in here. Something right here too made of iron. I don't know what this is yet. A little iron ring. Some type of leather strap junction, I guess. You can see, look, all the uh, charcoal and stuff in there. It's pretty cool. All right, I guess I'm going to head out of here. I kind of put some of my stuff away. I just want to thank Gene for inviting me out. Oh, well, thanks for and, coming um, out. And, you know, we had a good time. Got to, got, got to find a few things. Appreciate the time. Yeah, and I think there's some more stuff to be found here. I guess I'll go over and uh, see goodbye to Brian. He's over there digging away. <laughs> got a million holes over there. <laughs> He's an animal, isn't he? There you go. <laughs> Take it easy. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's, we'll, I'll take you over there too. Train. That's a troll train. Good time of year too. Yep. Hey, I want to thank you for inviting me on. I really Absolutely. appreciate it. Absolutely. I'll put okay. everything on the pile for you. Sounds great. And I found that over by the sidewalk, so that'd be an area to check again. A lot of oyster shells. Okay. There, so. Sounds good. Good old stuff. Check over by the sidewalk. All right, I'm heading out of here. I'm going to get packed because we're, we're hitting the road in a couple days. Yep. Jack. Take your coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth.
sure she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my bitch.